Gym owners, what's up? We're back. Kayla Owen here with Ed Turney. We want to talk about something that we actually get asked. I get asked this a lot. I don't know about you. Every but day. Every day. Every day. If you could start a gym over again, what would you do differently? Today, we want to hit on the three things that each of us would do differently inside of our facility mm -hmm. if we went back to the beginning or if we were going to start one from scratch mm -hmm. today. Okay. And we don't know each other's answers, mm -hmm. by the way. No, we have no idea <laughs> because they're, they're both going to be probably very similar, but also there may be a probably. few tweaks from it because we both ran different facilities. And mm -hmm. this is really important because we get asked this because a lot of gym owners want to know, hey, what's the secret? What would you do differently? Because I want to be able to do that in my business. And mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I learn from the ignorance tax that you have paid. And we have paid a lot of ignorance tax so um, from the beginning. So, so much. So much. It's ridiculous. The amount yeah. of money that we both have lost because we didn't do these things is yeah. insane. So let's talk about this. What's the number one thing? We can go one by one. Go back and forth. Yep. What's okay. the number one thing? The number one thing for me is price. Um, mm -hmm. I would have priced everything way higher. I mean, we recommend $49 a week as your standard group training. Mm -hmm. I would immediately go to double that, to be yeah. honest with you. Because now that I know how to build great sales teams, yes. like how to close higher, know how to structure deals, make irresistible offers, $99 a week would have been my absolute minimum price point for mm -hmm. anyone to be in the gym. And then I would have very, very high tiers. So mm -hmm. like, I would have literally doubled all the prices that I had right away from from Jump Street, because I just know the power of, of price, right? Mm -hmm. Like nothing makes you more profit than having premium pricing. Literally nothing. Like it is the one thing that makes you the most money. Price is number one for me. Okay. So mine is similar because it involves price, but I would have changed my training model and mm -hmm. my focus. Uh, my focus was, was primarily the large group with an Ascension piece in a semi-private. I would have changed my entire model to be semi-private focused and I would only use large group as a funnel as an entry point to get people in the semi-private, but I would not continue on with large group classes after a certain amount of time. For example, I would run free trials for six week challenges and they would be large group, but I would use it as a funnel into our real program, which is semi-private. And that is all that we did moving forward. And that price point would obviously be higher. And that price point for me would be at 199 a week. And I would price it there. Then it's 199 a week. They get all the, all the bells and whistles with the semi-private offer, but I use mm -hmm. large group as an easy way to funnel people into that program and be able to offset my acquisition costs. My second thing is at the point when I had two facilities, I had 22 employees. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I would not do that again. I would have two coaches only for one facility. I would do most of the selling and they would do most of the fulfillment. And yeah. I would have those two coaches tied into the, to the results of the business, right? Mm -hmm. There'd be profit sharing, it'd be tiered so they would earn their way up. But I, I have two very committed full-time people that didn't do other things, that didn't also work at other gyms and they're also in school. I'd have two fully committed people yeah. that had an interest in the success of the business. Mm -hmm. So a very tight knit, lean and mean team. Cause eventually we've recently gone through this with the thing that happened in 2020, which you don't talk about. Mm -hmm. People had to lean down. So like we learned that you can run this business model way more leaner. I would start already lean. Cool. So Next. the second thing that I would do is I would focus my training model on a more hybrid approach. The mm -hmm. other pieces go online sooner. Everything that we built in our gym was, again, at the time, it's booming, you're doing really well. We're bringing in 30, 50, 60, 70 people every single month, new members coming in, paying us $500 a month, and it's phenomenal, and you're growing, and you're like, this will never end. But we obviously saw that that would end, and we were talking about it, Alex brought it up in 2019, where we took the industry mm -hmm. by storm, talking about hybrid. If I could go back, I would have switched to that immediately, and made that the priority of focusing on nutrition and accountability, rather than the training. Even in a a semi-private 199 a week model, I mm -hmm. still would have put more focus on the hybrid approach because that's ultimately what gets clients better results and what people want. So what that would have done for me is allow me to extend my marketplace mm -hmm. to instead of a radius of seven miles from my facility, I could work anywhere. Yep. And so the people that were close to me, they could come in for semi-private. The people yep. that were further away from me, I could still give them the same experience, still charge the same price and yep. get them incredible results, but I would just have moved online a lot sooner. This is tough now because I was going to say something similar. You can go similar. It's fine. We don't know what we were talking about. I, I, I want to be unique. <laughs> Everything's a competition. <laughs> Definitely supplements is gonna be the answer, but I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a twist. So I would sell supplements to every person in the first week, no matter what, because I used to have a limiting belief around that, and then I broke through it, and there's another video about it. But I'd probably start doing what we recently launched with a couple of our uh, top clients, is I would do VIP events. Mm -hmm. Just recently, we had a client sell $25,000 in supplements 
in one day to just five people by having a VIP event. Insane. And it's really crazy. Insane. Like, like they're gonna break all my records. All the records that I made, they're gonna shatter it with this one play. Insane. Cause you can do it I think three times a year without any issues. And basically the play is an offsite thing, whether it's an Airbnb, um, some of them are doing like a kayaking trip, a mountain retreat, mm -hmm. a yoga retreat. Like an experience, you're an creating experience, an experience. Right, an experience that makes the, 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 the bonds really tight. Mm -hmm. It's super exclusive, only X number of people get to go. Yep. And you can charge super premium. So we did it with client buy the big subs package and get the thing for free. We just sell the thing too, right? But like yep. I would sell two to three times a year, a big high ticket, five, six, seven, ten thousand dollar $10,000 experience, mm -hmm. make it unforgettable. And then I would have this predictable revenue that whenever I wanted to, I can just turn the switch mm -hmm. and make thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 profit a couple times a year when I felt like it. So I would have a very, very high end thing. I think we were in the math one time, 125 clients is a million dollars a year with the right pricing and the right yep. everything, right? Out of the, those 125, it's reasonable to get seven to 10 to always buy this type of VIP exclusive mm -hmm. event and be super high premium. I love it, I love it. Number three would be the basics for me. This is just billing cycles. So mm -hmm. billing cycles um, and limiting my members, I'm gonna lump this into two. This would be limiting my members to three times a week, number one, is like, that is it. You cannot come more than three times a week. That's actually would be the max. I wouldn't yep. offer any unlimited, yep. knowing what I know now. And I would have made sure that my billing cycles were set up from the very beginning, every 28 days. And so yep. I capitalized on that. And I truly believe with what I know now, we could, I know we talk about this all the time, go in right now, build a million dollar gym within six months. And we could go from scratch. Three. We do it. Probably three. Do it in three. It would be a fun It'd experiment, be, actually. Yeah. It'd be a really fun experiment to It'd go be, in and do that. Maybe one day. <laughs> that's those are the three things. So uh, just in wrap up for me, three things is changing my model to focus on semi-private private model. The second piece is also attached to that is moving online sooner so that I could expand my radius and I wasn't just caught between one spot. It also would allow me to make sure that if anyone moved away, I would never lose a client because I could continue to fulfill exceptionally for them. And then the last piece would be just doing the basics, making sure my billing cycle was set up every 28 days and making sure that my clients were only coming in at max three times a week. Premium pricing, lean and mean team, VIP special exclusive events to so not just be a gym but to be a insane coaching company in the journey i switched from i'm a gym owner to i have a coaching company comma mm -hmm. we have kickboxing you know sessions yes. like i made that adjustment so i would go in coaching company first that's the mission statement i love it so if you were wondering the three things that we would do differently those are the three things that we that's would it. do right now if we were going to start a gym from scratch or go back in time enjoy see ya